Hey, welcome back to another one. I'm Daniel from Living MN Outdoors, and today I'm going to be bringing you our weekly fishing and ice report from Mille Lacs Lake, Leech Lake, and Lake Winnebogoshish. So stay tuned and we'll get you those details. So today we're going to start our report up at Lake Winnebogoshish up in Deer River, and we're partnering with Tamarack Lodge. I talked to the owner of Tamarack Lodge yesterday. Uh, he told me they have anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of ice. They're allowing ATVs, snowmobiles, and side-by-sides right now. Uh, that's all contained into the bay. Uh, but I asked him about fishing. He said the walleye fishing is amazing right now. They're absolutely killing the walleyes up there. He also said the pike fishing and pike spearing has been incredible. So if you're a pike fisherman or you like to get after the spearing... Uh, Tamarack Lodge, they're really getting after the pike up there right now. He told me there's about 8 feet of visibility in the water right now. Uh, so you'll be able to see quite a ways down to be able to throw a spear at one of those pike. Uh, now I didn't get very much information on uh, bait and lures uh, that they're using, but I did talk to some other fishermen. Uh, it sounded like red and pink were the go-to colors. And they said to make sure you're utilizing your dead sticks as well as your jigging rods. So if you guys are looking to get up to Lake Winnebogoshish, check out Tamarack Lodge. And if you're hungry or thirsty, make sure to stop into their bar. All right, next on the list, we're going to head over to Leech Lake. I've been talking to the owners of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. We're partnering with them this season. Uh, they said they have anywhere from 7 to 10 inches of ice. Uh, the recent storm, they said it didn't really affect their ice too much, so they still have good ice. At this time, they're allowing ATVs and snowmobiles out of the access. Uh, she did tell me too that if you're walking out, the access is still free to use, but ATVs and snowmobiles, there is a $10 access fee. As far as fishing goes, I was told 18 to 21 feet of water from rock to sand transitions. Uh, use fat heads, shiners, and small pike suckers. Uh, make sure you're utilizing your dead sticks. Uh, that's a real good way to capitalize on some of them beautiful walleyes up there, along with your jigging rod. A lot of times you'll be able to jig those fish in, and then they'll eat your dead stick rod. So make sure you're using that second rod. Also, guys, while you're up there at Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they have a great bar and grill, Iron Fire Bar and Grill. Make sure you stop in there, get something to eat, grab a drink, enjoy yourself while you're up there. They also have lots of rooms available, so if you're looking to stay on shore, make sure you go ahead, call them, get a reservation, stay in one of their rooms. Now, this season they are partnering with J&K Marine out of Walker. Uh, that's who's going to be running their fish house rentals out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Uh, so if you guys want to rent a fish house out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge, make sure you call j and k marine i'll leave the number right down here ask for kim she'll hook you up with the fish house you guys can have a great time out on leech lake so next up on the list is malax lake we're partnering with two different resorts on malax this season one on the north end one on the southwest corner so we'll start with randy's rentals on the southwest corner i talked to him this morning we had a big storm come through last night, high winds, rain, switching over to snow. It completely ruined the ice on that side of the lake. Uh, he's not going to be opening up this weekend. He's hoping that next weekend they'll be allowing foot traffic out of there. But as of right now, they are taking reservations for fish house rentals further into the season. So if you're looking to reserve a fish house rental, call Randy from Randy's Rentals and get that fish house booked up now. All right, now switching up to the north end of the lake, we are partnering with Barnacles Resort. I talked to Sheila earlier today. They have about five and a half inches of ice, but the storm last night did do some damage up there. She said they have about a two foot wide crack out about a foot and a half of water. So as of right now, they're not allowing anybody out of their access. 
They're hoping that overnight things will heal up. And on Friday, they're going to hopefully be allowing foot traffic back out again. She said possibly if everything goes good, they'll even be allowing ATVs out on Saturday. So I didn't get any fishing information from her just because there's so much going on with the ice conditions. Um, but I talked to some fishermen who have been fishing out there and they said, obviously use your small pike suckers, your golden shiners, and then tip your jigging spoons with the head of a fathead. They said UV orange, UV green, or perch colors have been working really good. And even a few fishermen have just been using a regular old jig head in a whole fat head. So if you guys are looking to get up out of the north end of Mille Lacs Lake, make sure you check in with Barnacles Resort. It's day to day right now. So call them before you head up there. And if you do make it up there, make sure you stop in at their bar as well. Also, if you guys could, if you visit any of the resorts mentioned in the fishing report, Please let them know that you saw them on the fishing report on Living MN Outdoors. That would go a long way with helping out our channel. Another way you guys could help us is if you're fishing any of these three lakes, you're out catching fish, take some pictures with them and you can send them in to us to our email at livingmnoutdoors at gmail.com and maybe you'll see yourself in the next fishing report. If you do send a photo in, please include your name what lake you caught it on, and possibly what lure, bait, something like that. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a fun and safe ice fishing season this year. It's still early. Make sure you're being safe. But go out there, have some fun. We hope you catch a bunch of fish. And make sure to tune back in next week for our next fishing report. And if you're not doing so, get on out there and get living.